what we've got here, you can see we have the state space representation for some system, and here is our output equation. All right, so that's what we're given. What we want to do is we want to find the transfer function for this system. Now, this is the equation we developed to do that. So g of s is going to equal c times si minus a inverse times b. First thing you have to do is figure out what a, b, and c are. Now that is easy because you're looking right at it. All right, so this here is A. This one is B. And that is C. All right, so super easy. You just pull it out of the state space representation. Now what we have to do is basically just plug it into here. So let's look at that. First, let's start on this term right here, the SI minus A. So we're going to have si minus a. So s times i is going to be s times the identity matrix, which here we just have a 2 by 2 for a, so we only need a 2 by 2. So we're going to have 1, 0, and then 0, 1. So when you multiply by s, you get s, 0, 0, s. And then subtract a. So negative 3, 1, negative 2, and 0. And then let's see what we have. We have s minus negative 3. That gives us s plus 3. 0 minus 1 is negative 1. 0 minus negative 2 gives us positive 2. And then s minus 0 is just s. Now we have this. Now here comes the fun part. You have to take this and do the inverse. All right, so however you want to do the inverse, have at it, but you got to take the inverse of this. Now, if you have one of the graphing calculators that has the algebraic system, so the CAS system, you can easily just put this in the calculator and it will do it for you because it will use symbols. Otherwise, you're going to have to do it uh, by hand. Okay, so let's go ahead. If you do the inverse of this, we're going to have SI minus A inverse, and then that is going to equal another 2 by 2. This first term is going to be s over s squared plus 3s plus 2. And then over here, second term in the first row, we're going to have 1 over s squared plus 3s plus 2. And then down here in the second row, we're going to have negative 2 over that same denominator. So s squared plus 3s plus 2. And then finally, s plus 3 over s squared plus 3s plus 2. So that's what you get for your inverse. And every time you do this, whether it be for a 2 by 2 or a 3 by 3, you're always going to have that same denominator. Well, not this exact denominator. Let me restate that. Not this same one, but every term will have the same denominator. Okay. It'll change based on your matrices, obviously. Okay, so now we've got this inverse. And now we need to do is finish this calculation. All right. So we got to multiply by C and B. See what we get. So let me another page. All right, so now let's write out what we're going to do. So g of s is going to be c, which c is this row vector with 1 and 0, and then we're going to have this inverse that we just found. So let's rewrite that. All right, so we got all these fractions. Okay, so there's that inverse finally. And then we've got matrix B. This was matrix B right here, this column vector. So we got 0 and 1. Now we have to figure out which ones to start with. Now the ones you're going to start with will be right here. You're going to multiply the inverse matrix times B first. All right, so do that multiplication first. 
and then let's see what we get. So if we do that, we're going to end up with G of S equals matrix C here times a column vector. We're going to end up with 1 over S squared plus 3S plus 2 and then S plus 3 over S squared plus 3S plus 2, like that. All right, so now we have that. All that's left to do is multiply this by this. All right, so when you do that, you're just going to have 1 times this plus 0 times that, so that leaves you with this top one. So you get 1 over S squared plus 3S plus 2. And then usually we want to factor this apart, so we're going to have 1 over s plus 2 times s plus 1. All right, and then this is going to give us our transfer function. So that's your g of s. So we took that state space equation, we converted it over to a transfer function. All right, so there you have it. That is the end of chapter three. I will see you guys next time.